Alright, so for my uh, master presentation, uh, I really wanted to look at investing because I want to be a hedge fund manager, and I thought the best way to do that was to learn about investing. So I wanted to create a unique investing style that sounded very from everyone else, so I could get a job, hopefully in the future. And the best way to do that is basically learn what investing is. So I thought the best way to do that was to get a um, internship. So I went to an internship um, every Friday at a company called BTIG, which is essentially like the third, second, or the third biggest uh, private equities fund and hedge fund in the center of the world. And we, I worked with a person hands-on, and we learned about uh, several different things. Um, but through the time of constraint and how big I wanted to do my project, I wasn't actually able to accomplish a lot. So what I was able to do was I was able to learn, but I was able to create an individual stock. So I'm just going to walk you through what I learned and how I learned it. So we start off very simply. It's like, what is an asset class? So uh, asset classes are essentially anything you can invest in. The main three ones are equities, which are stocks, fixed income, which are considered bonds, and cash equivalences are anything that can be traded very fast. So stocks are basically medium-term investments. You can, you can sell them fast, you can sell them long, you can basically have them for long or short hold. And a lot of times they're either high risk or very low risk, depending on how much money you depend them, uh, put them on. Uh, but they're usually pretty steady on, unless you have like certain places where you have like a stock market crash. Um, so for uh, bonds, they're very, very steady, but they're very, very long term and they're not very profitable because you only get, because uh, a lot of them are government initiative, and you only get like 5% return, but with the stock you get anywhere to a 100% return. Um, and cash equivalencies, they're very short term and they're low risk because they're being traded so fast that it's like, Essentially, if you were trading uh, currencies, so if you wanted to get, uh, I don't know, like a thousand euros for $110 because you think the euro is going to go up. So they're usually low risk and short term. So after we learned that, we talked about how assets react in different environments. So we learned about um, essentially what they call climates, which are different times in the fiscal year or in the overall economy, how they perform. So in a recovering from a recession, equities perform well, not best, but they perform still well in the growth phase. So the reason they perform well is because in the growth phase, the dollar is usually at its highest point, making the stock price at its highest because the dollar is worth less. Uh, so essentially, the, with inflation, it kind of increases. So if you were to buy a stock at, let's say, $100, and then usually interest is about 2%, so you get 2% on every single thing you did. And that's without even the stock going up. That's just simple interest. Um, and then, uh, and the economic peak, it usually does very well because essentially it doesn't work well. The only time that it does, the stock doesn't do well is in a recession. As we all know, the 2008 crash of 1984, I want to say. Uh, there was another crash and the stock just plummets. So fixed incomes, as we talked about before, were bonds. Uh, bonds performed uh, essentially well overall except for when you're in an economic peak because at this time uh, interest is at its highest point and if you because uh, fixed incomes don't account for inflation and inflation